uh, women's tennis team lost a couple of close matches this weekend, but the Hawkeyes are looking forward and not behind as they head into their final stretch. The team fought hard and forced three sets in seven of their 12 singles matches. I felt uh, Friday and Sunday we had moments where we could really turn the match. Uh, credit Illinois, credit Northwestern, they're great teams, um, lots of success um, in their memories and they were able to kind of play well at big moments, but I really think that we can build on this and um, you know, I, I, I just don't want the girls to accept it and accept playing close. I want us to get over the hump um, and hopefully I can keep them feeling confident but not satisfied. Zoe Douglas's hard work paid off with a confidence boosting win against Northwestern. It's something that I've been working on a lot recently. I had a close one on Friday as well and it's, it was heartbreaking to lose that one but then coming back out here now I just needed to stay composed every point and take my time when I get to the back, just breathe it out and not go out there and know the things that I'm doing and what I can do is right. It's gotten me that far and just keep believing in it and keep going after it. Being the only winner on Sunday, Douglas knew she had to buckle down regardless of how her teammates were doing. It was just working as hard as I could for them and yeah, it gets a little bit harder when they're off the court and you know that you've lost the match, but it just gives you more reason to go out there and fight for just put something up there for the team. The Hawkeyes are at home for next week's campaign against Penn State and Ohio State. Reporting from the HTRC, this is Will Silverstein, Daily Iowa and TV Sports.